Okay, so I've already glued two of those spacers on quickly. I'm going to do the other one right now. This is the last one. And for this, I'm just going to use some super glue. It's not typically what I would use. Um, I don't really like it very much. But I just need these to not really move. So super glue is going to be fine for right now. I'm just going to kind of put some on there. Line this guy up. And that will give me the rise I need to be able to use these MG996R servos for this project instead of the ones that uh, Gail used. I don't remember which ones those were, but they were shorter, so they fit into this, this bed. And hopefully, <laughs> it's not going to make them too tall. I don't think... Um, I think they fit fine in there. They weren't going to be too tall and rub against the inside of the housing of the arm. I, I think that's going to be fine. It only raised it um, two and a half millimeters taller. This one's um, actually fits fine. I didn't have to put one here because um, this hole is enough, is big enough to. Uh, fit the base of the servo in it so I didn't have to raise this one up but yeah these are all set now these give it another minute and these will be um, seated enough that I'll be able to start putting the servos in get the servo bed back in the arm and uh, get this project back to where it was a week ago robot in the background talking. Maybe. If the microphone picks it up. So yeah, the bed's going to go in there like that. After I get all these servos in, and I'll lock that down into place. And I'll start um, getting these tendons back. But I'm just going to give these a couple minutes before I start installing servos. So, I'll be back. Just a minute. 